Hello, welcome to another Medieval Engineers build and review. Uh, we've got another four builds to check out. And so we're just going to get right into it. So our first one uh, is called River Edge Hideout uh, by RA9. It's a capital R, capital A9. And we're going to look up here. Now, there is a couple of things to note beforehand. The layout of this fort requires a uh, certain hill formation. Um, and I think it does work best uh, after the fact. I figure this out. Works best next to uh, like a water feature or something like that if you are uh, enabling that as part of your mods in your game. So we're going to do a flyover. And another little bit that wasn't in the pictures when I was first looking this out, there's no rear wall. Uh, so if you do decide on using this, you will have to place that in yourself. Uh, the little bit I was talking about is right here. Uh, it's, I think the design, uh, RA9 uh, put it up on a hill, so there was a bit of here. Um, and just got to be careful when placing, at least especially this corner. Uh, either placing it just a little bit further into the ground than I did, or just finding an actual hilly section. So we're going to check this out. Uh, they've built a little courtyard area here uh, with the double doors, which actually I, th I really enjoy because it adds a bit of defense that way. Uh, if anyone tries to get in your base, they'll break down the first door, but they can't get past. They'll have to break down a second one. Also got a uh, little shooter archer uh, platforms here. So you can rain rocks and arrows, crossbow bolts, that sort of thing on top of uh, your intruders from here. But again, this only works if there isn't a rear wall open. So get that fixed first. Uh, we've got a bit of uh, walk around, catwalks around the edge. We've got another double door over here. And I'm not gonna risk that one. Let's do this one. See if it'll, oh wait a minute. So an enclosed area, I would probably, I mean, the, the what they used uh, doesn't enable you to do it, but uh, finding a way to put in murder holes uh, through the top here would be really good. But I don't think with this, what they used, it would enable you to do that. Uh, let's take a look through this here. And if you're hearing some weird staticky sound, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I logged into the game and this is what's happening. So we've got a nice little room here, uh, the little tables, a bed, uh, you got your crafting table here, more table, you got your sewing area, you've got your oven, we come out here, and we've got a nice little balcony. So let's go back down, check out the other building. Let's go up this door. We've got a window here, we'll close that. So this is completely empty here. This is the first floor. So basically you could use this however you want to. And if we go up here to the second floor, again, completely empty. Uh, and something that you can add to however you want. So walking around, we got a pretty nice view of everything here. I think the only change I would do to the top is just adding a few more of these. I forgot what these are called. But just adding like a few more of uh, these type of palisade tops instead of the regular ones. Because while these are good for defense, it kind of obscures your view for when you're trying to see who's approaching your fort. But yeah, this is all in all, this isn't a bad one. Uh, but this this is a glaring hole in uh, your fort defense if someone is trying to if someone is uh, attacking you, uh, particularly if you're in multiplayer and you're going to be uh, going up against other players. This you you don't want something like this in your uh, building. All right, so that was the River Ridge Hideout by RA9, uh, and I.
All right, this next one is called Wooden Keep by Shilka, S-H-I-L-L-I-C-A. I'm not going to be able to pronounce that right. Uh, but it, the uh, creator uh, had put a moat uh, around it, and so the uh, blueprint itself does not come with it. You have to put it in yourself. So just an example, I put in a rough one, and we will take a look at that. So here we are. We have the wooden keep, uh, and this is the basic layout of how the creator had the moat set up around it. And so we're going to take a walk over this bridge and go check this out. So a nice little bridge here. Plank walls. Let's see, nope. Just a support beam. So it's me supporting that section of the that corner of the wall. Let's take a look in here. Oh, double door. Okay, that works. And ooh, a trap door. All right. Uh, for prisoners, I guess. All right. Or you could use turn that into a storage. Let's take a look in here. All right, that's going upstairs. There's another one over here. Okay, just like a little storage area. Let's go upstairs. All right, so it's completely empty. Uh, you can. It's basically a clean slate. You can do whatever it is that you need to do. And open up. Now we've got a walk around. Okay. And we've got some murder holes here, some empty spots where you can drop stuff down. All right, so it doesn't have defensive points along the main wall itself. We'll go back down and look at that. Um, but uh, it it make, kind of makes up for it with the uh, uh, the war the wrap around up there, up at the top wrap around balcony. So let's look down. Let's go back down here again. So the only the only fault I'm really finding with this one is it doesn't have a section up top here along the wall, uh, the main defensive wall, for defenders to walk around. Uh, but the moat actually helps with that, uh, with help me with like an extra layer of defense. Uh, and again, this is just me doing a rough outline of what the creator had put on here. Um, and so this, it actually adds another layer of defense to uh, the said fort. So I guess you'd have to figure out uh, the rules for whatever server you're on if it's allowed for uh, how the setup is for attackers filling in the moat or if they're allowed to uh, dig underneath and things like that. All right, so that was The Wooden Keep by Shilka. I think I said that right this time. Uh, and so we will go on to our third one. All right, so this is called The Square Castle by Anton337. Uh, and again, whether you're in survival or if you're just creating a world and creative, uh, please be careful when placing uh, your blueprints because if you might have a problem like I did where one corner did not go into the ground as far as I thought it had and one whole section of the castle collapsed creating, causing my game to uh, crash. So just keep that in mind whether you are in survival uh, placing a build for you to have in survival or in creative where you're just building a world. Uh, but let's go through and check this place out. Uh, let's go. All right, so we've got a drop-off point here for to drop stones off of off on anyone's head that is trying to get in through the front door. Very good. And I turned sound off completely because it was making that staticky buzz noise, and I couldn't figure out what was making it. So we have this. All right, so we've got. Uh, looks like we could have a little storage area here, another little storage area 
if we go in here, all right, we've got empty. So it looks like this person, Anton337, basically gave us a blank slate. So we can do with as we will. All right, a nice little area inside of here. I think this is meant to be a stable, which if this game ever gets horses, please thank the developers, please do that. Uh, that would be really good to have. And we've got our little wall walk here. Let's see. Go in here. Got our arrow slits. Okay. Can I go up there? It looks like I'm able to, but I don't know. No, I don't think I can. Dang. That would be a good spot. Like a little good look of... Uh, a uh, nice little lookout area. Let's see. Another tower here. A little catwalk. All in all, this isn't a I like this one. This is a good this is a good one. Uh like something that you would use. The wooden keep that we were looking at earlier would be something that we would use to like at the first level and then this would be the second uh second tier when you get all your stone. So this is, yeah, this is a nice little, nice little thing. Oh, I didn't look in here. Let's look here. All right, so we can go down here. What's here? Oh, this is just the other side of this, okay. All right, and then if we go to the top, if I can get up here. Is it not letting me? All right, so I had to crouch and jump. I don't, I don't know what that was about. Probably just my game. Uh, but let's look up here. Oh, we've got drops here. Okay, cool. All right, that works. And crouch again. And a little sort of top storage area, I guess, for extra ammunition. And a nice little look out this way. And a nice little look out this way. All right. Nicely done. I like this. I got to be careful of these because I walked over those during survival and I fell down and died. It was not fun. Uh, but I'm in creative, so it doesn't matter. But still, something I don't want to repeat. Uh, yeah. This is the square castle, and like I said, I'm uh, I actually enjoy this. This would be I I would call this like a a tier two, at least to start out with. There we go. Uh, tier two keep with that wooden keep that we were looking at earlier being a uh, tier one. So yeah, this uh, this works out really good. Uh, again, just watching the placement. Uh, especially if one, even if it's just one corner, uh, just got to be careful on how uh, how far off the ground it is. All right, we're going to go to our third and our fourth and last one. So I will catch right back up with you. All right, so this is uh, a world called Medieval Earth Special Edition by Dan Two D Three D. And you do have to be a little bit careful because I think it's an older build uh, than the current update. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, so we're going to uh, check this out and see if anything breaks while I'm doing this. Because something did break while I was testing it out. Uh, this is what's called the pit. And your job is to get, from what I understand, to the bottom without dying. Uh, it's either the bottom or the top. Because so, I tried this, uh, if you look here, there's an elevator cage and it broke, the handle there broke and it went all the way down to here. So I don't know if this is something that was supposed to happen um, or if it was just something that he had set up so that it did that. So we're going to go back up here. It's got a little house. He put together a little house here. I think this was supposed to be set up like as a tutorial world for those who have no idea what they're doing. 
Uh, it's got the quest automatically enabled. This would probably be a good idea. Uh, nice little, nice little room here. Is there anything in here? No, nothing. Just a large chest. Okay. Uh, but we're going to actually. Now, last time I tried this, it didn't work. But it says that you can fast travel to another point on the map. Let's see if I can find it. I think it was this one. Cave 3, Ruins Fort. There was. Is there another one? There it is. Owned by Merrick. Oh, that's the Engineer's Guild House. All right. So the last time I tried this, it didn't load in, but let's see if it'll load in for me this time. And we're going to change the sun. Okay, so it's partially here. I don't know if this is supposed to be it or if there was supposed to be more. Because this definitely was not here last time I looked at it. Uh, but I think it's just to give the players, if someone new to this, uh, to the idea of medieval engineers, of some of the things that you can do with it. Um, I think that was his basis. I think it was Dan's basis for the, um, the pit. But again, something you got to keep in mind is that it might be a slightly, this probably is a slightly older build than, uh, than the current update for the game. But uh, it's a, basically an open world for whatever you want to do and see if you can improve and conquer the pit as set up by Dan 2D 3D. All right, so that is the four things of today. Uh, we got the River Edge of the Hi River Edge Hideout by RA9, the Wood Keep by Sh uh, Shikila, the Square Castle by Anton337, and Medieval Earth Special Edition by Tan2D3D. Stay tuned for uh, more builds uh, and reviews for Medieval Engineers. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you around.